I'm going to go through the installation process with you on jamrecorder.com. First of all, type in www.jamrecorder.com into your address bar and then type your email address here for the free trial activation code. Click submit and that'll pop up a screen that'll prompt you to click the download button now to run the application, choose the free trial in the application, and we've already entered in our email address. So click OK here, click the download button. What that'll do is pop up a screen that'll ask you if you want to open the program or save the program. We need to save it, so click save. That'll pop up a screen that'll ask you where you want to save the program. I have it saved into my desktop, so I'll click save here. This is going to start the installation process, so this is a good time to go check your email, get your activation code. Highlight your activation code and press Control C. That'll copy it to the clipboard because we'll need to paste it into the activation field here later on. Now that this is done downloading, I need to go wherever I saved my program, which I saved it onto the desktop. So I'll X out of there. Here it is, jam recorder install.zip. Right click and then click explore. That'll bring up our execute file. Double click the execute file and then click run. I'll click next on this first screen and then accept next. I'll type in where I want it to save on my computer and then click next if I want any shortcuts or not and then click next again. And then it'll prompt me to click finish. And click OK and then now you should have a jam recorder icon on your desktop if you created a shortcut there. Double click that and that'll open this screen. Thank you for trying Jam Recorder. It'll tell you how many trial days you have left. It'll say continue trial, click for your full activation code, or click OK. I've already pasted my activation code, so I'll go ahead and click OK, and this is your new Jam Recorder. It has eight different tracks that you can record on, and you can change the volumes of each. You can import an audio file from wherever you'd like. You can save your project for later, or export your file as a wave. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at clint at jamstudio.com.